So just making a quick video on how to run the, the full remote start wire harness. So this is this is mine. This is just the one I'm, I'm mocked up to show you how to run it. Um, basically, if you can come under this crossbar here, come up and under with this, connect it. So the wiring drops down. You can see it here. Just run it along with this wire. You can zip, actually zip tie it together if you want. And then you can see here, I kind of continued underneath here. You can see the wire right here. And then you can go behind this plate here. So let's see if we can see it. I got it, I got it right here. And then you come up next to your fuse box. So you can see here is the here's the ground. So this is this is where you want to ground it here. Okay? And then this is the tough part. You can continue the wire and you get it kind of behind the battery box. So I took it a, a little bit at a time. So I kind of fed it through here to right here, kind of pulled it through right here and then come across here and then you can actually Feed it back down through this hole it's kind of a pain in the ass but get around and it pops out on the other side here so now i have all this slack so what i did sorry is i kind of just uh brought it down through the corner. And what you wanna do is the fact, you know, the OEM instructions say you kinda of put a hole in the boot here and you wanna, I would grab like a coat hanger and then kinda of tie this to a coat hanger, push the coat hanger all the way through so you can see it on the inside and then just pull it through. And then you can pull it through into the cab. And then basically you just pin this into the BCM. I believe it's uh, the C1A connector, pin 11 is for remote start. And uh, that's it for the, the harness install.